So before we get started today, let's just sort of review the agenda. And in fact, before we even review the agenda, uh, let me just describe to you about what this webinar is not about. So this is not a webinar on trying to make a decision as to whether you're going to use SAP, QM, or LIMS. It's rather a webinar on how you utilize SAP and LIMS. Um, if you're attending this webinar, I assume that you, you've recognized that both of the applications, SAP and uh, LIMS, are designed to support their part of the quality process. SAP for ERP and LIMS for lab operations automation and supporting quality data management. Uh, as you probably are aware, there's a lot of um, uh, overlap between components of SAP, QM, and LIMS, and the, the decisions on which component from which system you choose to make has impact on your overall design and implementation decisions. So during this webinar, we're going to discuss some of the differences between the two applications and also from our experience, uh, some of the factors that will impact your overall integration approach. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to start off by attempting to set it, set the uh, level the playing field by giving a quick overview of what is SAP QM and what is QM IDI interface and how it's used. We're then going to get into different considerations or decisions you have to make in order to be able to effectively uh, uh, allow the cooperation of SAP QM with LIMS. Um, we're going to look at those considerations from a perspective of data ownership uh, that includes both master data, uh, often called static data within the LIMS world, and obviously dynamic data, result data, uh, and how and who should own those types of data. We're also going to look at it from a process perspective, uh, meaning that there, are, there is overlap between the two systems and what system is the best system to use for a specific piece of functionality. And we're going to look at that from the perspective, okay, of what are the costs to develop and maintain it, and also from uh, what we call at CSOLs a user experience. Who's going to be using the system? We're then going to look at uh, using examples uh, of how you go about defining the overall integration strategy. And finally, we will briefly touch upon the topic of is SAP QM even required to interface or integrate LIM systems with SAP? Uh, something else to note, I'm using the terminology LIMS here all the time. Uh, it really applies to any uh, lab informatics system that has QM IDI interfacing capabilities. So let's start off with SAP QM. Where does it fit? Well, what it really is, is a, is a quality management solution. It's been around for a, a significant period of time. It is being enhanced on uh, annually, biannually frequency. And the QM module has been developed to provide quality assurance and quality control through the integration of various SAP modules. So I'm quickly going to describe what those modules are, again, just to level set the playing field. So probably the most important one is the materials management module. Uh, that is the module that's responsible for materials planning, uh, goods receiving, material storage, purchasing, and inventory management. Second major module is production planning module. Uh, really is divided into two components. One is the planning, and then you can plan from a material and capacity perspective. And the other, of course, is the execution. 
developing of production orders, scheduling, uh, actual manufacture of the product, and movement of goods, materials through uh, the supply chain. Third major module is sales and distribution. This is where sales orders are created, uh, shipping activities are uh, tracked, and where billing comes into it. Oftentimes, in uh, most of the industries that I've been involved with, part of the billing, part of the invoicing process includes certificates of analysis. Hence, its important role in the overall quality management perspective. And then the final one, uh, which uh, SAP QM integrates with, or major module that it integrates with, is plant maintenance. So that's used for all forms of plant maintenance, uh, but it can be used for preventive maintenance, can also be used for instrument calibration. 